Hi, I'm Ryan Crosby, Senior Education and Technology Specialist here at RIDE. I'm going to talk to you today about f heating and flaring uh, a lateral support on the RIDE Custom Back 200. It's our 3D printed back. Um, first, we're going to remove this cover. Just kind of peel that back out of the way. It's just a shower cap style cover. Um, peel that off. And then you're left with either a mesh liner, whichever you've ordered. It's either mesh or our AccuSoft liner. So you have two liner options, and both modifications are very similar. Um, we're going to uh, use this one as uh, the one we're going to heat and uh, modify. So first thing you want to do is you want to take a, take a preliminary measurement. You're going to measure from the outside of the lateral to the outside of the lateral, and you want to mark each lateral so that you're pretty consistent with where you're measuring that at. Okay. We've got 19 and a half. So I'm going to just jot that down right here. All right, now what I want to do is peel away this foam, this mesh material, or in the AccuSoft foam, uh, we peel that back too. All right, so I'm going to start here with a razor or a razor knife. Let's right here. And you want to trim away this tape from the lateral. All right, so I want to trim it all around the edges. This is just black masking tape that we're using now. So when we go back and finish the edges again, we're going to use a standard white or uh, the normal masking color tape. And this mesh material really peels away nice and easy. So when you're doing the same modification on the AccuSoft back, you're going to want to, uh, you might have to cut away the foam material, similar to what our, our, uh, our Brock foam material of, of the old back, um, you would have to kind of cut as you peel back. Okay, this one, almost there we go. Just want to get it back out of the way, far enough so I can heat along the edge of this, this back. Now I don't want to peel all of it off, so I'm just going to tape this material back out of the way. Take my handy masking tape and just tape it down like that, okay? And I'm going to heat on the inside most of the time. I'm going to choose my line here. Let's say that's where we're going to heat and flare this in or out. Um, you definitely don't want to heat uh, too much on the outside. And the line that we do bring, I'm going to peel away this tape that's right on that line. I don't want to heat that because that will flame up. So just get that out of the way. Just enough so you can bring your, your torch over it without uh, burning the tape around it. So I'm going to peel this tape out of the way. That's pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to heat most of the time on the inside of this back, right along this line. And then occasionally I'll bring the heat through to the outer shell, just enough to kind of pull the heat through the shell. You don't want to heat too much. Um, if you overheat, this will um, turn really liquidy. Uh, that's a technical term. But uh, <laughs> all right, so uh, I'm taking my uh, propane torch. You don't want to use map gas, you just want to use propane. You could use a heat gun if you had three days to do it. It's going to take some time to do it if you use a heat gun. I encourage you to use a, uh, a torch. Um, any residual glue on here is not, is not going to be a problem to heat over. Okay, and you, you do want to wear safety glasses uh, when you're working on this material. And if you're, you're, if you're grinding or heating, and uh, I'm not heating, but grinding, cutting, you want to wear a, a particle mask, preferably. Um, we recommend that. So I'm just going to heat over this line here for a second. Takes quite a bit of heat, just occasionally through the back. You're going to see it start to kind of melt on one on that line. That's okay. OK, 
occasionally. Let's just test that. Okay, we got a little more to go. You do want to start testing it kind of frequently when you feel like you're getting close because you don't want to overheat that too much. Uh, I still have a little bit more to go. Okay, let's try that. There we go. Okay. So I'm gonna try to bring this in about an inch from where it was. So I said it was 19 and a half before. And that, well, I went to 18, so a little bit too far. All right, 18 and a half. Pretty good. So I want to cool this pretty rapidly. So what I suggest, have some water handy. Just kind of get that cooled down as quick. If you have access to a sink, you might run it under the sink. Get, just try to cool it down rapidly. If you don't, it will probably rebound right back to where it was before. So you want to make sure you, you cool that down. You can use compressed air. I think water really does, does the trick pretty well. Okay, let's see if that stayed. Yes, super easy. Okay, so you want to dry that off. Dry this off because I'm going to re-glue my material. Okay, there is some residual glue, but not a whole lot. You could, you might be able to get away with just laying it back in there and retaping the edges, but you can use some spray glue and hit both sides of this. I'm not going to spray the whole thing in here, but just kind of get both sides and let that sit for, you know, till it becomes tacky. It's about 30 seconds usually. Okay. So now I'm going to take this and lay it back in there. Any of this tape that's ripped or torn, you might peel off. Okay. And then I'm going to get my just regular masking tape, take about little two inch strips, and we're going to go from the inside and roll it over back to the outside of the shell, like that. And you're going to do that all the way around where you've peeled this away, and then you've just heated and flared your back. I mean, that's as simple as it is. So um, that. If you have any further questions, you can reach out to us here at Ride Designs. Um, we're happy to help. And uh, thanks a lot for your support.